I'm here with Brian Wang, Vice President and Principal Analyst at Forrester. Brian, can you tell us about some of the trends in the industry today concerning converged infrastructure and virtualization? Sure, Matt. Uh, we are at Forrester, we are definitely seeing that uh, most of the large enterprises have already been considering virtualization as the number one priority for their you know, hardware resources um, planning actually in their, in the, in the, you know, putting most of actually the, you know, the hardware resources into a dynamic pool of the resources. Basically, they can uh, better and more effectively using these resources for the different type of the workloads around the corporate in, uh, IT environment. And, uh, and obviously, and we see that actually, you know, for most of actually the you know, Fortune 500 companies have already done that. And uh, for um, smaller and uh, medium-sized organizations, they are also on the pass. And in particularly, actually, if you look at Asia and also China market, and we are thinking that's going um, on the trend as well. And again, um, the next step actually for the virtualization is also actually uh, looking at the emerging trends of uh, converging infrastructure. And we are already seeing that um, you know, most of the IT, particularly infrastructure and operational uh, professionals, they are specifically looking at simplifying the IT complexity, in particular the time they spend to configure, install, and all the you know, hardware infrastructures has been one of the pain in the daily job. So converging infrastructure help them uh, to um, significantly reduce the time to uh, pull these hardware stacks together. And some more, uh, many of the, actually the converging infrastructure products also have put the management software together or even databases or applications where actually the converging infrastructure product will be able to support the specific workload or specific applications much better. And we are seeing this has already been significantly used in many industries. Um, here in China, and we are seeing a lot of e-commerce companies are particularly interested in this because their business are booming every day. So by leveraging actually the converging infrastructure, they will be able to support the business growth um, you know, in a much shorter time frame. Brian, can you tell us a little bit about what the relationship is between big data and cloud? Um, to me, actually big data is really a business question uh, rather than an IT question. Um, it is significantly actually um, improves the business outcome uh, for the business. So, um, so many times actually we are seeing big data projects uh, very much driven by a um, you know, line of businesses, uh, business leaders, instead of actually just the IT leaders. So the business leaders clearly see the benefits brought by big data uh, through the different type of analytics, uh, including analyzing the data in the past, both internal and external, as well as actually predictive analytics, which we believe is also a very important part of big data. And then actually there are a lot of organizations considering leveraging cloud to enable big data. So a lot of customers um, I'm talking to, particularly here in China, they are talking about building a new private cloud to enable big data services they are trying to use internally as well as to their external customers. So for us, we are really seeing that as a as an opportunity where to bring IT and the business together. Really, this is a, a business benefit driven project. Finally, Brian, in terms of cloud computing, can you tell us about some of Huawei's solutions? Um, I mean, being in China for five years now, I, I, I have personally actually witnessed actually um, the, the significant growth for Huawei in the enterprise space actually in the past couple of years. And a similar thing actually happens in the cloud space. I think actually Huawei has um, managed to um, you know, service a good number of large enterprise customers uh, in China here, and including some of the telco customers and large enterprises customers. Um, I think actually now what they're trying to do is actually to uh, go out of China and trying to uh, get more of their cloud solutions in particular, including converging infrastructure, cloud operating system, and also now recently actually they just launched the big data platforms um, to the multinational customers or international customers. So they believe that that will help them to grow, um, you know, the, the presence actually across the globe. Brian, thanks for joining us today. Thank you.